Hi guys, long time no see. It's been a while that I've been on here. I always say that in my intro videos, don't I? Um, but yeah, it's just um, been a quick minute and I just wanted to do a face of the day. I'm really sorry that I don't have a tutorial for you guys for this look. Um, but it's basically pretty simple and I'm going to um, uh, take you guys step by step on what I did for the look um, in case you guys are interested to recreate it. Um, I am going to say that this look was inspired by um, pictures that I see um, Shrinkle put up on her Instagram. Instagram. If you guys don't know who she is, which I'm sure most of you do, she is the owner and co-founder of Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Um, unfortunately, I've never tried her products, but I am a big fan of um, of her work. So um, I, when I when I go on Instagram and I see her videos, it just inspires me because she does this really amazing double liner um, with vibrant colors. Um, obviously, I I kept it pretty simple and pretty. Um, pretty wearable I mean her looks are amazing you can wear them out as well um, but I wanted to do something more wearable but um, still using the same concept where she does like the double liner double wing liner which I think like I said it's amazing so um, what I'm gonna start off with is show you guys what I did with the face um, obviously what I did for a uh, foundation um, is first wear a primer the primer that I wear and that I love is the studio secrets uh, primer and this I wear all over my face. Then I let that set in on in on my face. And then what I've been wearing lately a lot, um, and I had ran out of it. But then I went again. I went ahead and gotten it again because I like forgot how much I loved it. It's the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and this is an oily combination. And the color that I am is Golden Caramel. It works amazing for my skin skin type, and I think it is very wearable and a long wear long wearing for the whole day. So I do I do really like this product. Um, so I would put that all over my face, and what I used um, is I used it with this sponge, like disposable sponges. I just wet it a little bit, and I just. Uh, Put it all over my face and i think it just gives a really beautiful finish um so i just use this and then i just dispose of it after um and i went ahead and did all that all over the face and then what i did under the eye i did really heavily concealer and um, i wanted to have that little kim kardashian type of under eye bright eye look um that everybody absolutely loves so what i did for that is i used my mac um my concealer for mac and it's the um studio finish uh, and it's this one right here. I'm in the color NC35. I used that all over the under eye. And just, just to give that more of an intense look, I went ahead and added the mineral, Maybelline Mineral um, Power, Power Concealer right under it as well. Dabbed it all over my, my under eye with my, with my fingers. And then I set it that with um, a powder. The powder that I used is the CoverGirl powder, and this is the professional one, and it's the translucent medium, and um, it works a great, again great with my skin tone. So I used that to set the whole face, and um, for the uh, blush, uh, I used this is the blush that I used, and I've been wearing this so often lately as well. And it's the Physicians Formula color in rose, and it's the one with the hearts in it. I absolutely love this blush. I've been wearing it practically every day when I wear makeup. <laughs> and then um, for highlight um, under the eye, just to maintain that like bright eye look, I went ahead and used the Physicians Formula in translucent. And I'm not gonna open it because it is broken. I don't know how that happened, but um, it's broken. So I we did use that right under the eye um, as a high like a um, highlight color on the cheeks. And um, I contoured with my very, I mean, I always contour with this um, contour color. And it's the um, Light Sweep Shader Sculpt and Shape Powder from MAC. So I used that. I just used the light, the darker color um, to, con to contour my, my cheeks and my nose a little bit. And um, that's it for the face, pretty much. Um, I went ahead and did, uh, like I said, a very... Um, brownish smoky gold looking color um, using the same technique like I said that um, Shrinkle uses so for the base of my eye I use this color tattoo eye studio that all of us absolutely love and it's the um, it's called bold gold so I use that with like a concealer brush all over the all over the lid which looks like this this is the one I used I put it all over the lid like that and then um, to set it just I mean I know that you don't need, really need to, to, to use powder for these because they last all day um, but I went ahead and still did that I went ahead and added this um, wet n wild um, color uh, combo and this is the one here I use this color here 
right right on the lid as well just to set that um that color tattoo color i used that and then on the crease um i kept it pretty simple i just used this dark brown the dark brown color here and the color that i mean the brown the brush that i use is this really um like dense brush and domi brush and i just put the color on the crease just like this and i brought actually brought the color up to the brow here up to this up to the top and i think it just gives a more dramatic look so i went ahead and did that and then as a highlight color on my um under eye i under eyebrow i used this milani color and it's called lily white and it's really pretty and frosty and shimmery so that's why i wanted ahead and do that so i put it right under the brow bone and um blended it out with that brown and then for the fun part, which is the, the the metallic gold, I used this Mayron metallic powder, and I got this like three years ago at IMATS. And um, this is the one. This is the one that's called just gold. And what I did to make it look really intense, I added some of the mixing medium that also comes from Mayron. I dipped my brush. I dipped. Let me see what brush I used, so you guys can see. I dipped my brush. It was actually this one here. This like jet, like this um, angled liner. I dipped that into the Mayron liquid, and then I grabbed uh, the the tap of the metallic gold powder, and I mixed it a little bit with the with the um, pigment, and then I just did the liner, just like a regular liner, like you normally do, and then I let that dry, and then I put my black liner on, and the black liner that I use is the Linear Intense Carbon Black by um, L'Oreal. I put that all over the um, under. I put that as the line um, for my um, liner and um, extended it out and then I just added the gold right under it as well and I brought it actually all the way in to my inner eye and middle of the eye and to all the way into the inner inner area sorry I can't talk <laughs> and um, and then what I did was buff out the buff a brown color right under that and the color that I used again is from the same Wen Wild palette which is this one here and um, I used this like art brush and it's from low cornell it's a dome round brush and i just used it like this to buff out that brown all the way under the eye and um to make my eyes look more bigger i went ahead and added a white liner instead of a dark brown or a dark black um and the one that i used is called just pearly and it's from jordana and this is actually not like a intense white it's just like a pearly pink so it doesn't make my eyes look like whoa i'm wearing white, white eyeliner because i don't look good with just bland white eyeliner i look like I, I look freaky so i went ahead and got this one which is more like a pinky pinky tone so it's more of a subtle look um and i did that in the waterline and then i added my false lashes these are number fives from red cherry which are my absolute favorite and um last but not least um for the lips what i used is um this lipstick from mac which is blankety an amazing color we all know who, which color this is it's an amazing color and then I added, um, as a gloss, I added this NARS uh, lip gloss. And this one's the um, Strip Tease. And I've had it forever and a day. It's just a super old lip gloss that I have. So I went ahead and added that as a gloss. And um, yeah, that completes my look, you guys. I really like the fun. Uh, the fun part is the liner, which I think is really nice. And you can just actually tone it down. I mean, you can wear it as um, intense and vibrant as Shrinkle does. Um, or you can wear it just like a simple look like this and still, you know, um, not it doesn't look overpowering for those that don't like that type of you know look i personally love dramatic looks so when i every time i see her post something that i'm like oh my god i'm having like a little you know orgasm stuff <laughs> for makeup of course and um and that's it my hair is just straight and it's all nappy so don't mind my hair and the jewelry that i'm wearing these are these are just like some simple gold and black um earrings that i got at the alleys and um i am saying what i'm wearing because sometimes uh, some of you do ask this ring as well i got it at the alley so i just wanted it to match my accessories so that's it you guys hope you guys enjoyed this um my brows i just use a brow quad and i don't know where i left it but it's just a brown eyeshadow that i use and i just you know buff it into my eyebrows and that's it you guys i hope you guys are all doing well thanks all to to all the new subscribers that have subscribed um i am going to be doing more tutorials bear with me i'm still working on lighting i'm still working on my camera i mean i'm just trying to get the best of my videos out there and i am going to do more tutorials as well um i do like to do faces of the day if i do like something that i do i do and um during my you know my week i will try to either um record that on my phone or, re or make a super easy fast um 
tutorial for you guys like a face of the day I should say and um, share it with you guys because I know that those are also fun to watch so hope you guys are great I miss you guys and I will see you in my next video if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please go ahead and do so I will leave all the information on the on the description bar so you guys can go check me out and um, yes my camera cut me off I don't know why but um is it recording Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> so um, until next time, guys, again, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for sticking around. And um, I promise I will be making new tutorials. Um, like I said, follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Kathy. And um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.